being an empath can be a blade that cuts both ways. On one hand, having the option to detect others' feelings and comprehend what they are feeling is a brilliant illustration of how magnificent sympathy can be. Then again, being an empath implies continually being barraged with others' viewpoints, feelings, and wants regardless of whether we like it. The way that empaths can detect when someone is sexually drawn to them, can be both a gift and revile, contingent upon the individual who is feeling those things about you. In any case, how could an empath let know if someone is craving them? The following are 10 ways empaths feel when someone is thinking about them sexually. 1. They sense an expansion in adrenaline. When someone is sexually drawn to an empath, an expansion in adrenaline can be felt by the empath. Adrenaline is frequently alluded to similar to the survival chemical. This chemical is utilized when we are in a perilous circumstance or feel worried. Nonetheless, adrenaline additionally siphons through the body when you are invigorated, or sexually excited. This is the reason adrenaline will be exceptionally present whenever someone is sexually drawn to you. When an empath faculties the adrenaline of someone else, it can cause them to feel apprehensive and restless. They might feel like they need to move around more or take a walk. This is particularly evident when they don't as yet see that this adrenaline is positive. In any case, they won't simply feel the adrenaline. 2. They feel the sexual strain. The sexual strain that empaths can feel from someone's physical allure, can overpower them on occasion. This can cause an empath to feel like they are being consumed by someone else's cravings for them. Assuming you've at any point felt sexual strain between you and someone, duplicate that by 100, and you'll draw nearer to what an empath feels in that. Numerous empaths depict this sensation as feeling like they are trapped in a thick, tacky haze. When empaths are around individuals to whom they are sexually drawn in, or who are sexually drawn to them, they can feel this strain in their bodies. It very well may be difficult to focus on anything more than the craving to deliver this sexual energy. They might wind up thinking about engaging in sexual relations now and again. While this sensation is typically in the brain, it can at times be felt as a fixing in the body. This can cause empaths to feel like they need to stretch or exercise more regularly. This energy is exceptionally powerful, and it can undoubtedly get a lot some of the time. That carries me to my next point. 3. They feel an unexpected need to shower and clean themselves. When empaths feel someone else's physical allure, they might feel an unexpected need to shower and clean themselves. This is particularly obvious assuming that the sexual consideration they are getting is undesirable. They might become reluctant about themselves or feel messy without knowing why. This can be an indication that their superpowers are striving to dispose of others' energy. While this unexpected craving to clean oneself might appear to be unusual, it's a generally expected feeling experienced by empaths, who feel physical allure from others. The longing to wash is a way empaths can let the energies of others out of their bodies. When they feel messy, it's an indication that they have taken on something over the top. It likewise helps empaths feel more in charge of the circumstance. Furthermore, Having more control can assist with diminishing how much energy they are taking in. Consider it. By scrubbing down or a shower, you can figuratively clean yourself from these contemplations and feelings that feel extremely grimy. In any case, that is by all accounts not the only way empaths adapt to that sort of energy. 4. They should be distant from everyone else to refocus and recuperate from detecting that multitude of feelings. When empaths notice the physical allure of someone else, 
they might need to move as distant from that individual as could be expected. This is because they have taken on an excessive amount of energy and have to refocus and recuperate. This abrupt craving to be separated from everyone else can cause empaths to feel humiliated or blameworthy, particularly if they are keen on that individual or don't have any desire to appear to be bizarre. They might stress they are being discourteous or conveying pessimistic energies to the next individual, nonetheless, empaths should recollect that their unexpected craving for isolation is not their shortcoming. It's their superpowers working much harder than expected to dispose of the additional energy. While empaths are distant from everyone else, they should attempt to ground themselves. Establishing is a procedure that permits empaths to dispose of additional energy and remain adjusted. Empaths need to ground themselves more frequently than others, because others' energies can get altogether too extraordinary. Presently, assuming that energy incorporates physical allure towards them, that can truly overpower rapidly. No big surprise that they frequently need to pause for a minute to themselves and just revisitation of their energy. At times, an empath could adapt to getting on these energies by having specific dreams. 5. They get sensual dreams. Sensual dreams are one more sign that an empath has taken on an excessive amount of energy from someone else. When empaths experience physical allure from someone else, they might dream about that individual sexually. These fantasies can be incredibly clear and agreeable. They can happen while the empath is fantasizing or while they are resting. Sexual dreams are generally a sign that an empath has taken on a lot of energy from someone else. These fantasies are a way for the empath to process and deliver that energy. Sensual dreams are most normal when empaths are involved with someone else. They can likewise happen when empaths are single. Yet it's more normal when they are seeing someone. Presently, this can be a piece confounding, particularly if the empath isn't super drawn to that other individual. Notwithstanding, those fantasies are a way for them to handle this physical allure that they are getting from this individual. Dreams like that can be amazingly confounding, and it's no big surprise that empaths in some cases don't have the foggiest idea of what is correct or wrong any longer. The uplifting news. Some individuals can assist with that, similar to Mystic Source. These talented advisors are specialists in dream understanding and have universal knowledge of empaths. If you have any desire to sort out additional about your fantasies and how to decipher them, you can go to Mystic Source and converse with one of their talented advisors. They will want to assist you with understanding what your fantasies mean, and they will likewise assist you with handling this energy that is coming from someone else. This can be extraordinarily useful for empaths, particularly on the off chance that they're seeing someone on the off chance that they're just attempting to sort out what's the deal with them. It's no big surprise that empaths are misunderstood here and there. They are extremely delicate individuals who need to manage a ton of energy from others. In any case, the fantasies aren't the main thing they notice. 6. They notice the other individual's non-verbal communication around them. Empaths can see the unobtrusive changes in someone else's non-verbal communication when they are sexually drawn to them. They can see the indications of physical allure in the other individual's stance or looks. They can see things like the other individual standing somewhat nearer or shifting their head aside. Empaths can get on others' inconspicuous changes, regardless of whether they are purposeful. This can be both a gift and a revile. When empaths notice the unobtrusive changes in someone else's non-verbal communication, they can start to contemplate whether they are sexually drawn to them. This can prompt inquiries like, do they like me? Or would they like to be more than companions? That can be all confounding. However, 
It additionally helps an empath to understand what someone else's aims are, they could likewise detect this individual's feelings. 7. They can detect the other individual's tension. When empaths notice the physical allure of someone else, they may likewise get on their tension. Uneasiness is often a sign that the individual is apprehensive about pushing ahead with their fascination or wants. Empaths can detect this nervousness by seeing the individual pacing or squirming. Their voice may likewise turn out to be more tense or insecure. When empaths notice the nervousness of the other individual, they might feel the need to comfort them. They might need to give the individual an embrace or give consolation that all will be great. Empaths may likewise stress that they are making the other individual feel restless. They might feel an awareness of certain expectations to take care of business. The thing is, as an empath, you could not always comprehend where the uneasiness is coming from whether it's certain or negative. All things considered, empaths probably won't understand that the other individual is sexually drawn to them. They can detect this tension exuberating from them. Except if they feel a fascination. 8. They feel the fascination between them. When empaths are sexually drawn to someone else, they can feel it all through their whole bodies. This feeling can cause empaths to feel like they have been hit by a cargo train. This fascination can cause empaths to lose their equilibrium and stagger over their words in discussion. They might feel abruptly silenced or incapable to think obviously. The fascination can cause empaths to feel incredibly excited and struggle with controlling those feelings. When empaths are sexually drawn to someone else, they can feel that individual's sexual energy in their bodies. This is an indication that the fascination is genuine and not a misunderstanding. This is befuddling, yet in addition wonderful. When the fascination is shared, the empath will feel this energy and excitement much more with a burning intensity. 9. They feel shivering in their lower midsection. The shivering sensation in empaths' midsections when they are sexually drawn to someone is an obvious indicator that they have experienced someone who is sexually attracted to them. When empaths are sexually drawn to someone or notice someone wants them, they might feel a shivering sensation in their lower tummies. Indeed, your lower paunch is where a lot of nerves from our sexual organs run along, thus when you feel this shivering sensation, you are feeling the other individual's physical allure to you. Your body is in a real sense answering their sexual energy. It's something wonderful. 10. They feel a powerful craving to be in the individual's organization. When someone is sexually drawn to an empath and they don't feel went against that individual, they might need to be in that individual's organization significantly more. They may need to associate with them constantly and make a move to do as such. Empaths might feel a powerful urge to be in this individual's organization. This can cause empaths to turn out to be more outgoing and garrulous around them. They likewise could invest more energy than expected preparing for this individual or even spruce up more than expected. This is because a piece of them realizes that they share a common fascination. Thus they will feel this enormous craving to be together, somehow. Last contemplations. When empaths are sexually drawn to someone, they are taking on their feelings, wants, and sexual energy. Taking on someone else's energy can cause empaths to feel overpowered and depleted. This can make empaths befuddled about what's going on within them. They might become dubious of their feelings, and keep thinking about whether their longings are their own, or on the other hand on the off chance, that they are being controlled by the other individual. Notwithstanding, when the fascination is common, this can likewise be something delightful. Being an empath accompanies its potential gains and disadvantages, it's anything but something terrible to feel others' feelings, it can be a piece overpowering on occasion.